Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. This is the proof to Theorem 11 on our Leaving Cert Honours course, which states if three parallel lines cut off equal segments on some transversal line, then these three parallel lines will also cut off equal segments on any other transversal. Now, a transversal, as you know, is a line which has been cut by those parallel lines. So that purple line there that I've drawn is our transversal, and I have another transversal here. Okay, so in our proof, we need to state some information. We need to write down, first of all, what we're given. We also need to state what we want to prove. Then we're going to write down our proof and then our final conclusion. So let's get in and state what we are given. So the first thing I'm writing down is what I'm given in the statement. Uh, best thing in your exam would be now at this stage to draw out those three parallel line, lines and transversals uh, neatly for yourself so you can mark them. Okay, so I have them drawn out. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark in on them. I'm going to write down what I know. So I've been given three parallel lines. I'm going to call them L, M, and N. They're parallel, so I'm going to mark my parallel lines. We are also given the transversal, which cuts through our three parallel lines. So I'm going to call those points of intersection A, B, and C. And it's telling us that it's cutting off in the statement equal segments on that transversal. So let's write in uh, that they're equal in length. So I'm just going to do a dash and a dash to say that they're equal in length. I come over to my second transversal and I'm going to call them uh, D, E and F. Now you can label them with whatever letters you want. Uh, I'm just going with these letters. Okay, that's what we're given um, and I've put them on a picture. Now I'm going to write them down uh, as statements. So the first thing we're given here, let me just scroll down, is that I'm given that the length AB is equal in length to BC. That's the first thing we're given. The second thing we are given is that lines L, M and N are parallel. That's the next thing we're given. The third thing we're given is a transversal line intersecting L, M and N at A, B and C. So they're intersecting at the points A, B and C and I have my other transversal. So I have another transversal And once again, intersecting L, M, and N at this time D, E, and F. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense and that's everything that we are given so far. Next thing we're going to write down is what we actually want to prove. What's the aim of the game here? What are we trying to prove in this theorem? And what we need to prove now is we need to prove that the length D to E is the same as the length from E to F. So that's what we just want to prove. So the aim here is that we want to prove that the length DE is equal in length to EF. So that's what we now need to do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move on to my constructions. Okay, my constructions. Now, in order to make this a little bit more uh, user-friendly to be able to watch the video, I'm just going to copy and paste my uh, my diagram down so we can follow through. Okay, so let's see our construction. So I've just copied down the image, as I said, just to make life a bit easier for us to see. So what we're going to do is, we're first of all going to draw a line now. And this line that I'm going to draw is going to be parallel to DF and it's going to go through the point A. So parallel to DF going through A. So it looks something like that. And it's intersecting L at A, which is already marked on the diagram. It's intersecting M at a new point, and I'm going to call that E, and I'm going to call it E dash because it's the image of the original E, and I'm going to call the point where it crosses the line N F dash because it's the image of the F that was originally marked. So hopefully that makes sense. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a third line or a second line, which is now going to be parallel to the line AC. So it's parallel to AC but it's going through F dash. So something like that. So going through F dash parallel to AC and it's crossing the line M at B dash because it's the image of B because they were parallel. 
and it's crossing the line L at A dash. Again, the dash means that they are the image. So look at B dash, it's the same size of an angle as B. They are corresponding with each other. Okay, so that's my constructions. All I need to do now is just to write that down and state what I've just uh, drawn on the diagram. Okay, so what are we stating? We are stating that we drew a line. So draw the line AF dash, which is parallel to the line um, DF. And it is cutting M at E dash, that's my new point, and also cutting N at F dash. Okay, so that's the first drawing line, drawn line I did. The second one is I drew the line um, A dash F dash, which is parallel to AC, and it cuts M at B dash and cuts N at F dash. Okay, so that's basically what we've drawn. Next process part step in our process is that we want to write down our proof. We now need to do our proof. Now, when we're doing our proof, what we're going to try and do is uh, we are going to try and use congruent triangles. So what I'm going to do again is I'm just going to copy down this diagram just to, to make it easier to follow. So like I said, we're going to use congruent triangles. Congruent triangles are triangles which have the exact same shape exact same size, so size of the angles are the same and lengths of the sides. So what we're going to try and prove is that the triangle ABE dash, I've marked it in green, is congruent to E dash, F dash, B dash. We're trying to prove that those two triangles are now going to be congruent. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. When proving congruency, you need to make a statement and you also need to state the reason why. Okay, so we're going to have to show three things. And I'm going to use a statement. And I'm going to have to have a reason for that statement. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to state is that the line AB is equal in length to the line A dash B dash. Okay, and my reasoning for that is if you look at our picture, that they are the either ends of a parallelogram. So that's the first statement I've made, and I'm going to put down my reason ends of parallelogram. Okay, from that, I can also see that AB is equal in length to BC. Okay, and that was given us to, as, to us at the very start uh, when we assumed that AB is equal to BC. We put that down at the very start um, of our theorem. So I'm just gonna write by assumption that that is true. From here now, I can state, well, what can we state? We can state now that BC is equal in length to B dash F dash. And the reason for that again is they're either ends of a parallelogram. So I have my first parallelogram, second parallelogram, and the reasoning for those, as I said, were ends of parallelogram. Okay. Now, the reasoning for doing those three steps was that I can now conclude, see here, I have a BC is equal to AB and a BC is equal to B dash F dash. So therefore, I can now conclude that AB is equal to B dash F dash. So that's the conclusion that I'm making. And when we're trying to get to our congruent triangles, if I mark that up here, I have AB equal in length to B dash F dash. So there's one item ticked off our list. So my second item that I'm going to spot as part of my congruencies is going to be my vertically opposite angles, perhaps. If you look at our picture, uh, let me mark them here in a different color, uh, we have our vertically opposite angles. Okay, so that's my second item. So if I label those, uh, that'll be written as angle AE dash B is equal to angle F dash E dash B dash. And my reasoning vertically uh, opposite. 
Okay, so there's my second item. So I already have a side, I now have an angle, and we're gonna find our third part. And the third part that I'm gonna use is also going to be um, uh, an angle. And the angle that I'm gonna prove that is equal is quite straightforward to spot. It's this angle here. It's the, let me get rid of my highlighters. It's here, it's the angle A and the angle F dash, because you can see that they are both created by two parallel lines, which is looking at that Z shape, which means that they are alternating together. So I'm just gonna state that, that's my third reason. So I'm gonna state that the angle B A E dash is equal to angle E dash F dash B dash. Okay, and that is because they are alternating. And that is an angle. So there is my congruency. I have it as ASA, angle side angle. Okay, so I'm just gonna write that down. So because I've now proved that those two triangles are congruent, I'm gonna state that triangle uh, AB E dash is equal or congruent to the triangle uh, B dash, E dash, F dash. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is again, I'm just gonna bring down my diagram just so we can follow it. Okay, so here's my diagram. So just to conclude, I now have proved my two triangles are congruent to each other. Now we need to use that. Again, don't forget what our aim of the game here is. The aim here is to prove that the length ED is equal in length to EF. So let's see now uh, what we can do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make some statements. First of all, I'm gonna state that the length E, or sorry, AE dash is equal in length to DE. Okay, so let's look up at our image at that. So what I'm stating there is AE dash, which is here, is equal in length to DE over here. Okay, which they are, because once again, I assumed in my constructions that they were parallel and I've created that parallelogram once again. So that's my statement and I'm just gonna put my reasoning in there that they are ends of a parallelogram. So up ends of parallelogram. Okay, so that's a statement that I've just made. Another little statement I'm gonna make here is that the length E dash F dash is equal in length to EF. Okay, so let's find those lengths now in our picture. And I have E dash F dash, which is here in purple, and it's equal in length to EF. Once again, they're either ends of that purple parallelogram that you see on the screen. So opposite ends of a parallelogram. Because once again, we had them as parallel lines. So let's make a conclusion now from there. So because of our congruent triangles earlier, we already know that the length E dash F dash is equal in length to A E dash. We know that that's true because we stated that they are the corresponding sides on our similar triangles. So we know that they're equal. But look what we can do from there. We can also now know that that is also equal to D E. So in fact, not only are the two blue lines, my aqua lines on my diagram equal, but they are also equal to the length E dash F dash. But look, if we can go one step further, we can also say that they are now equal to E F because the two purple lines are equal in length. So we're using our knowledge here of the parallelograms and congruent triangles to show that those four lengths are equal in length. And by definition then, we can cancel off these two and we can now state that the length DE is equal to EF. And if we look back up to our original uh, statement, we had written down what we wanted to prove and we wanted to prove that DE is equal to E. And that's what we've proved. So if we scroll back down, that's exactly what we've proved here. So we are finished the proof to theorem 11. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.